A 16 year old hit by a car while walking in a crosswalk outside Garinger High School in East Charlotte. Tonight, though, police are telling us that teenager did not have the right of way on that stretch of road. Reporter Erin Edwards has been following this crash since 5 o'clock, and she's learned that this is not the first crash at that intersection. School just got out for the day. Students were heading home or to after school activities when a 16 year old was hit by a car right outside Garinger High School. I was in the band room at first and one of my band partners came in was like somebody just got hit by a car. Students surrounded the team. Moments later, officers and police tape took their place. It's scary because, you know, I didn't witness it, but it was other kids surrounding him and they seen it and I know it probably shook them up. It's not the first time a student was hit here. If you walk down that sidewalk down there, it's a girl name in the sidewalk. She got hit and killed at the same spot he just got hit in. Garinger student Brittany Palmer was hit and killed in March 2012. Two years after her death, a crosswalk and bronze plaque were dedicated in her honor. I would like to see like something different here. Like they could have like people crosswalkers or something just to help out. Today, the intersection was closed for over three hours while police investigated. Everyone's praying for him, making sure he's okay. That was our Aaron Edwards reporting. Witnesses told the police that while the teenager was in the crosswalk, he did not have the right of way. They say the driver actually had the green light at the time. Tonight, that teenager has life-threatening injuries.